There was never going to be another fight. There was always going to be Marissa Lara next. Nobody, nobody's picking Maurizio Lara to fight. Le dice, claro, mucho. En la misión de las 126 libras, nadie quiere pelear conmigo por un título del mundo y... He said a few things now which made it quite personal. ¿Qué tan peligroso eres? Un mil por ciento. Créeme que si hay un descuido, se va a acabar la pelea muy rápido. He said that I faked my injury. He said that all the English are running away scared. Sabes que las gallinas siempre dicen lo peor de uno, pero bueno, sabemos que le corre a un bronco lara que sabe que lo va a destrozar. No one's going to walk into that and walk for me. It's not going to happen. Sabemos que viene lastimado, pero bueno, viene a defender su título y eso es lo que yo quiero. I mean, in the middle of the ring. No pasa aquí. I will win by knockout. Ya valemos, cabrón. Two ran, smash stabber, yep. that's assault. Um, two poached eggs. Yeah? Yeah, on brown, yeah? Yeah, please, thanks, sir. Hi, I'm sitting on moon today then, yeah. Yeah, it's actually quite peaceful today. <laughs> the, the, twins, the twins are uh, a, bundle of, a bundle of joy. That is the hardest thing, being, a, being down here, um, especially like close to a fight. Normally I go home every weekend, but close to a fight, you know, I get a day every three weeks or four weeks, and it is hard. Is all, but like I said, it's not forever. I've probably got three fights there, maybe four, including this one, maximum. So I've um, just got to bite down and just make them sacrifices. Why get up early? Why put yourself through this now, sitting here at the top of the world? As well? Over the years, you know, things change. You don't always want what you wanted when you started, but some things do stay the same. So it was win the British title, box one, hopefully win a world title. And the third thing is to headline at the city ground. Now I've just got one more thing to do and, and win this fight. And I believe it's done. The people down at the ground, you know, they've really got behind me the last, the last few fights. And um, it's going to be a special atmosphere this fight. And it's going to be even better because last time, you know, we split with um, the Nottingham Light and the Irish. And this, this is predominantly going to be um, the Nottingham fans, so they can sing and make some noise. And it's, it's going to be lifting. What Michael Conlon brought to that fight and obviously the way it happened forward, the, the drama of it and that um, the profile probably more than, more than tripled, so um, yeah, it, it has changed a lot, yeah. I started walking down to the ring, Eddie was behind me, and this Irish lad leaned over the bollard with a pint of beer. He went straight down my leg, my sock, my boot, and I didn't even look at him. I remember just kicking my leg out and I kept walking because I was so focused and I was so determined. There's nothing, absolutely nothing that's going to take me off my game. Yeah, from the very offset, we got off to a good start in terms of the first two minutes or so. We established exactly what we wanted to establish, create some scenarios that we were looking to create. Unfortunately, Conlon had a good moment. Lee got dropped, heavy knockdown. The knockdown for me didn't seem work, well, seemed to everyone else. For me, in my head, it was like, caught with a death shot, touched the knee and got back up. That's in my head how it went. And in my head, I was like, you silly, that's a 10-8 round, pull it back. I didn't quite go to plan, I got dropped, but I picked myself up, I stuck to the game plan. I didn't go crazy, I didn't lose my head, I chipped away to the body. You know, we knew that we was going to concede moments throughout that fight, but Lee stuck to exactly what he needed to stick to, played the long game, which was always the game that we wanted to play, and there was a big turn in the fight around round six or seven. I remember Lee coming back to the corner in round seven saying, the tide's turning. He's going for broke, and he's having some set. It's over! It's all over! After a minute and 20 seconds, That was just meant to be in a big moment in Leewood's legacy that it will leave on boxing. That added to the drama and the excitement for the fans and um, how it all unfolded just made the night all that sweet. What did you think about the fight of Leewood against Michael Conlon? It was a fight hard. We know that he's injured, but well, 
viene a defender su título y eso es lo que yo quiero. Eh, sabemos que es una pila fuerte. Sabemos que es una prueba de fuego, ¿no? Sabemos que Lingwood es un gran campeón, pero bueno, tengo muchas esperanzas y tengo muchas ganas de ser campeón del mundo y lo dije este 2022, lo tengo, lo tengo que hacer sí o sí. Y me gustan los retos, me gusta agarrar grandes peleas y esta es una de ellas. Le agradezco, le agradezco que haya agarrado la pelea. Sabemos que en la misión de las 126 libras nadie quiere pelear conmigo por un título del mundo y, y bueno, se le agradezco, pero sabemos de lo que somos capaces de hacer. Gente que me rodea, gente que deja de trabajar para estar conmigo en el gimnasio, gente que deja cosas personales para estar conmigo, es lo que me motiva a diario. Nos dice la banda de los pelones, hermano. Ya, canal, aquí te ponen la rola. Le dejo un cachito de pelo, canal, por si ya te enojas. No, por eso sí, por si se enoja. Hey, que me alientan, que me motivan, como te lo voy a repetir. Y bueno, tengo una gran motivación que es mi nena y sabemos que lucho día a día con ella y, y bueno, daré lo mejor para ella. Y como lo he dicho desde un principio, desde la primera oportunidad con Josh Warrington, quiero cambiar el futuro a mi familia y lo he hecho y lo seguiré haciendo. Pues el mundo notó tus habilidades cuando noqueaste a Josh Warrington. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo ha cambiado tu vida desde esa pelea? Es mucho, tanto económicamente como, como emocionalmente. Con la gente me atrae mucho. La gente me. Introducing Mauricio Bronco Lara. We was actually sat in the room. It was Lee. Lee obviously won the British title that night. We were sat in the room and Lee can vouch for that. Within one round, I said to Lee. Warrington's going to get beat here. Warrington needs to be careful. He's been caught three times now. Looks very, very heavy-handed, Lara. Down he goes, and Mauricio Lara is on the threshold of a huge shot. As I said, styles make fights. Bad style matchup for Warrington. Me, todo México me, me aplaudió y eso, eso me llena de orgullo. Saber que represento a México en todo el mundo y esta, esta vez lo volveré a hacer. Waved off all over. Mauricio Lara, the unheralded Mexican, has come in and destroyed Josh Warrington. The biggest shock we've seen in a British ring in many a year. ¿Te sientes frustrado con lo que pasó en la revancha contra yo? Este sí, sabemos de lo de lo de lo desgraciado que fue. Desgraciadamente se ocurrió eso. Sabemos de lo que de lo que hizo. Como le digo, ese tema con él es personal. Eh, Josh dice que piensa que Lee te va a ganar fácilmente. ¿Qué piensas de eso? Bueno, ¿qué puede decir una persona que fue noqueada no de ram? Que fue fracturada de quijada, de hombro, de codo y bueno, sabes que las gallinas siempre dicen lo peor de uno, pero bueno, sabemos que le corre a un bronco Lara que sabe que lo va a destrozar. There's no shortcuts in boxing, you can't just skip levels. I've done it the hard way, from literally the ground up. I've had my fair share of knockbacks and setbacks in my career. Not getting fights, injuries, being broke for a long time, literally. But one thing about me is I always trained, I always believed in myself. When I had been running, I trained. When things was going off in personal life, I trained. When my mates was going on holidays, I trained. And my sacrifice and my dedication paid off. He's always been confident, but I think now, there's more understanding of how and why he's confident. He can identify the, the, the strengths and the weaknesses of the opponent, the strengths and weaknesses of himself. His preparation is second to none, and that's where that confidence comes from. From the outside looking in, you know, he looks very dangerous. He got that devastating win over Josh Warrington. There's a lot of things he does good, and he is dangerous, but in the same hand, there's a lot of things he does very, very poorly, and you can't get away with it at this level with the right file. Sabemos que que es un gran peleador, pero te va a llevar una pelea muy fuerte. Sabemos de lo que estamos preparándonos. Como le dije, llevamos una gran sorpresa 
a su casa y, y bueno, no será la excepción el 24 de septiembre. Reckless is brave, is dangerous, but those attributes that make him dangerous also make him vulnerable. No, we won't be flying around the ring running away from him, that's for sure. ¿Qué tan peligroso eres? Eh, un mil por ciento. Créeme que si hay un descuido, se va a acabar la pelea muy rápido. You don't have to come looking for me, I'm be right in front of him. I'll meet him in the middle of the ring. Ellos se encargan mi entrenador Alejandro, mi entrenador Isaac, mi entrenador este, Arcos de ver los errores y bueno, en el trabajo en el gimnasio se, se trabaja cada poco a poco. When he's walking to the ring, he's going to be met with a very hostile crowd. Contento. Sabes que el reino de Dios como en segunda casa. No one's going to walk in tonight and walk through me. It's not going to happen. No pasa aquí. I can't see him reaching the halfway point and I will win my knockout.